Hey guys, what's going on? It's Elkonic here, and today we're going to go over the news of the data download that just came to the global side and a couple things on the JP side. First off, I want to go out and talk about we just got the 25 gold tickets that were delivered to us in our gift box on top of 25 dragon stones. Go ahead and collect those rewards now. You can go in and you can do legendary summons. You can do at least two of them. Depending on how many you had left over, you might be able to do three of them. Me, personally, I had three left over, so I'm going to have to go do one more multi-summon because I got 25 dragon stones I can. Awesome. Yeah, that will probably be coming to you at some point this coming weekend or Friday. Don't know. I forgot how many summoning videos I actually put out for this week for you guys. But stay tuned for that. Uh, the other thing is between July 14th and July 18th, we get 777 of all small types of orbs, 77 medium types, and 7 large types. So starting from Friday, which is agility on 714, all the way to uh, Tuesday, which is physical. So make sure you log in those days for those rewards between the 14th, which is in two days, up until the 18th, so you can collect each individual one. That's going to be super, super useful for you. So that's that. We got confirmation now. Um, now we're actually going to jump onto the Reddit. First of all, I, just, I pulled up the Reddit page just because um, you know I wanted to make sure I kept everything in order so that way I knew what to talk about. Uh, before I jump into the next one, I want to say if you guys are still pulling and you guys have those intelligence coras, save him. Shout out to Dragon Ball Addiction. Thank you for the reminder. I want to make sure that you guys know that you, if you pull that intelligence core, he does Doken Awaken the final form core. When he Doken Awaken to the final form core and you see Awaken him, you could feed him into the physical 120 lead if you end up pulling him. So when you're doing your summons, make sure you put them away so that way you can Doken Awaken them when the event comes out. That way you don't need to waste Elder Kai's on him. He does have a farmable one similar, similar to the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. If you guys don't know about that, you can go to the Epic Battle, the first, first mission that you're able to do in the game. And you can grind out those Gokus, the base form, the rare Gokus, and you can doken them all the way up to Super, Super Saiyan 2 Angel, no, Super Saiyan Angel. And then wait, and then when the Super Saiyan 3 event comes out, you can doken awaken each of them into Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, which will feed into the actual Tech 120 lead. So that way you can save other Kai's there also. Anyway, so let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the news. We have the Kaioken event announced, the, um, the, the After World Tournament, the Other World Tournament. I'm not going to go over all the details here. So as you guys can see here, we do have the new event that's coming out. We have no information on it as of yet. We're probably going to be able to get a, um, a, farmable, a couple farmable cards here. There's a whole bunch of different cards that are available. We have Perfect Cell, Angel. We have Frieza, Final Form. Super Saiyan Goku, Paikuan, Ultra Rare, King Cold Angel, and Super Saiyan Goku Angel. I'll be doing a full card review. The information is already out, so if you want to check it out, go to either visit this Reddit post. You'll see the link up over here. Um, you can do it, check out the Reddit and look up the actual title of this actual post. Um, or you can go into uh, dbz.space and look up the cards there. We have all the information about the card so far, so again, I'll be doing that at a later point. I'll probably do a card review when the event comes out. So let's jump over here now. Um, we have some information on the JP side. Now, I'm not going to go over all this right now. I'm going to go over this probably in a video coming out tomorrow. We have the information on the super support leads. Thank you to Coloss and Z for this. Uh, we have the Agility SSR Hyper Mega Rildo coming out, Heavy Tactics, and Agility SSR Pan, Tomboy Troublemaker. So we will be going over that at a later point, probably tomorrow. Uh, let's see, maybe tonight actually. I might go over that tonight when I get home. Reminder, we have World Tournament on 19 or July 19th. So make sure you start that. That's in what it's on. And in one week, actually, one week from today that I'm making this video, I'm posting this video. So at, per uh, Masako, T Masako Taman, Masako Taman. Uh, sorry if I'm butchering your name, brother. I really apologize. Uh, don't waste all your stones and banners and save some for the World Tournament. I, that is not true enough. Don't do it if you plan on participating in the World Tournament Hardcore. Do not waste those stones. Um, let's see. Farming Hercule uh, badges in the new event. Yeah, the new GT event is out, guys. So, like the old GT event and this GT event, make sure you farm those medals. At least enough to get Elder Kai's and to get some medals that you're lacking if you're lacking them. Um, you can actually go on to stage one on Z-Hard, uh, and according to, I can't, I can't even pronounce this name, McCons2000, uh, try stage one on Z-Hard. If you take the correct path, that means left and then right. Each question mark drops 50 badges, and two of them will be support items. So, you don't have to fight a boss, you literally go into the stage, and, you know, as long as you land on the four of the question marks on the wrong or correct paths, you're going to get 400. So, it's 50 per time. And I believe it's a max of three, uh, you know, dice that you can get at once, um, a, num a number of three. So chances of you actually being able to get 400 each time is a lot higher. And you don't have to take on a boss with no attack animations, no nothing, no, it goes really quick. So you can just farm that event out and get all of those Hercule badges. 
Plus, the event gives you a whole bunch of stones. Keep that in mind, so grind out all the levels. Um, and the GT event is is back also. The, the old one has been back for a while. So make sure you grind out those apples. I believe it's on the M8, the stage called M8 on Z Hard drops the most. So go ahead and grind those out and go and get all the items that you need. I recommend just going for the Elder Kai's first because those are the most important things to raise super attack levels of all your hard fitting characters. Last but not least, so something really insignificant, the, agil the agility for Echinemba. Um, he used to be strength on the Echinemba stage, now he's an agility unit. Um, just keep that in mind. You know, it's not a big deal, it's something hard, nothing crazy. I just wanted to make sure I posted about that. Thank you for the Random Studios 5000. And I believe I saw another post up earlier on it. So keep that in mind. I just want to let you guys know, make you informed. But thank you, appreciate it. Hope that was informative for you. Hit that subscribe button if you are new here, guys. And I'll catch you later on today.